this is Nikki Rowland for Bramble Fox today. Um, just a quick one before we start, I've recently lost my Instagram account so I have a new one. You can find me at, at Nikki Claire Creates. Um, so if you were a follower and now you can't find me, that's where I am. Um, okay, so I am designing for Bramble Fox today and I'm using the April Fox Box and I'm specifically focusing on the, um, the large title there um, that says tick all that apply fearless courageous unstoppable um, and uh, I wouldn't say I was fearless or particularly courageous but I'm definitely unstoppable <laughs> so um, I thought I would do this um, use this for a layout about myself um, we uh, most of you probably know that I run go go getaway um, retreats um, and sadly our March retreat had to be cancelled due to the uh, COVID-19 pandemic um, so we ran it anyway um, online we um, absolutely busted a gut to get all the kits posted out to people um, in advance of the retreat and then we ran literally the entire thing online um, so it was a really great weekend and I'm so so happy that we managed to pull it off um, and that everybody was really happy with what we did um, in this difficult situation it was horrible to have to miss out on the weekend itself um, but I feel that we did manage to achieve the next best thing so that's the story behind this layout and that's what my journaling will say at the end um, so I thought I would um, use a photo of me in my craft room with my apron on uh, teaching um, and then we also had this other photo that was um, by Claire Murphy actually um, who had created this little board um, in her home and took a photo and shared it with us that says embrace uncertainty some of the most beautiful chapters in our lives won't have titles until much later go go March 2020 and that was just so wonderful such a wonderful wonderful sentiment um, that uh, I had to scrapbook it along with me and this fabulous title by Bramble Fox Okay, so that's the story behind the layout. Um, what I'm doing now is I have mounted both my photos onto um, pink journaling cards or pink paper, I think. Um, and I have um, gone for a light pink background. That's I think it's called Tutu Pink and it's by Basil. It's one of my favourite um, pinks of cardstock to use. Um, and I've pulled out this Paige Evans Bloom Street paper. That's that fabulous one with all those triangles all over it. Um, and I've... Um, torn a big strip to go across the middle of my layout and I've got another torn strip which I think is the reverse of that paper yes it is um, and uh, another one at the bottom as well so I just wanted to add a little bit of extra texture to this strip um, and I've done that by adding the couple of extra torn layers in there as well um, so I've got these two photos we've got that big strip I've got a doily um, and I'm just going to arrange the doily and the photos together on the left hand side of my large strip and my photo, uh, sorry, my title is going to sit just over the top of my photo. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's, um, uh, that's basically the bare bones of the layout and I just need to then start building the clusters um, around it. So um, I want a cluster to the left of my photo and I'm probably going to put one to the right of my photo as, as well. They seem the obvious places to uh, to put it. I actually um, followed along with a not a sketch but a scrap lift, I believe, uh, for this layout. It was um, a challenge I kind of played along with um, over at Mind the Scrap, um, and uh, it was a um, yeah a scrap lift. I think it was. A, it might have been a sketch. I can't remember now. Dear oh dear. Um, but uh, but anyway, this. Um, the whole design of the layout was definitely lifted from elsewhere um, so um, but of course like anything sketches or scrap lifts for me they're purely a starting point so just basically somewhere to put my photos um, and a few elements and then everything else I completely make my own um, so um, I think the sketch had quite a bit going on below the photos um, whereas I've kept everything over to the right and all I've done um, is put my I just put my journaling underneath the photos but you can see I'm toying with the idea of putting that big label there to bring down the design uh, vertically a bit um, but in the end I don't do that other than to add my journaling there um, so okay so over on the left hand side I'm building up my clusters so I've got um, a, a scalloped edge um, journaling card that's from the Paige Evans Bloom Street collection I believe um, and uh, I've just got that um, 
cut up and put placed behind my photo so that basically I have a lovely scalloped edge on the left hand side of my left photo. Um, I've also added in some flowers, um, some, a fussy cut flower as well but also mostly the flowers from the Paige Evans Bloom Street Ephemera um, and then I have this um, little banner to the left of my photo that says just be awesome uh, which I thought went really well with the, uh, with the layout and the whole ethos behind the layout. Uh, so that's uh, sitting there. I'm just getting my title stuck in place um, now. And then over on the right hand side, you can see that I'm working on a cluster over there too. Now I was kind of aiming for color on color. So um, the right hand side of the paper is very yellow, whereas the left hand side of the paper is more blues and purples and greens. Um, so I've tried to um, keep the cool colors on the left and the warmer colors over on the right. <clears throat> and uh, I've just pulled out the bits of the ephemera and things from um, like fussy cut things as well um, all over um, in kind of colour order it's not exact I have a pink flower um, over on the right as, as well um, but <clears throat> I've aimed for that kind of feel uh, so over on the right I have the sun that says shine bright, I have a little heart um, which is has notebook lines inside. I did think I might try and write my journaling on there um, but in the end it wasn't a big enough space so I've just left it as a design feature. Um, I've got some flowers in there, a fussy cut flower and then um, you can see that I've pulled in this a little armchair and that went well because obviously we are all stuck at home at the moment and the retreat took place at home uh, in the comfort of our own home or the uh, restrictions of our own home maybe depending on how you look at it. Um, so the armchair went really well so an armchair or a sofa is a hard thing to use on a layout I think um, but definitely okay with a layout about staying at home which is what this layout is. Um, and then I also have the number one there that says one of a kind and I'm now trying to add in um, a title that says let's party. Now that was on a Jen Hadfield sticker sheet I think or thickers phrases. I sometimes find them a bit hard to use um, because I find that often the titles on the packs don't really work well with my layouts or, or I prefer to use my own title really. Um, however let's party seemed very apt because um, we it, you know it wasn't a party <laughs> but we we did have a great time we all came together um, and we it was just a wonderful sense of community um, so let's party worked well on this layer I thought so I've put that in over on the right hand side and um, it probably should have um, I wanted it initially to go down underneath the big title the um, tick all that apply title um, but it just didn't look right I wasn't happy with it so I put it over um, on the right hand side instead um, so now I'm getting my journaling in. Now I had a reasonable amount to say about this layout because of the story that I explained earlier. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I could fit it in um, and before I filled up my layout with uh, everything else <laughs> and ran out of room to put it. So I thought I'd just get that down now and then I can move on to adding extra bits and pieces um, where I want to. I mean to be fair the layout is nearly done. There's not a lot more that I put on this layout. Um, but I did want to um, turn my journaling into a design feature so I've written it um, very clearly on the pink um, on the pink background you can see that it really becomes part of the layout it's not just a small line somewhere else it really is a kind of feature um, on that layout um, so uh, I've underlined it as well to make it stand out more and then I've got the little label underneath the sunshine and just above my journaling that says amazing so again that kind of uh, links the journaling to the layout itself because it's all kind of uh, touching in, in one line um, and uh, now um, I've got that in place um, I can now just finish off with the finishing touches um, onto this layout so just going to add in some gold thread so twiddles um, on the left of my photos and then I put one over on the right as well coming out of the flowers too so I'm just using my favorite we are memory keepers um, gold metallic thread it's designed for a sewing machine but it behaves so nicely that I put it on all of my layouts so uh, that's that being put in place there um, and then I'm just adding um, some enamel dots um, so these are the pink fresh studio um, noteworthy I believe um, and I'm just adding a few of those uh, dotting a few of those here and about the layout um, and then I'm also going to add in some sequins. Now for some reason I've stopped using sequins. Um, I think it's because they don't come in the kit that I get every month. Um, so 
Um, I've stopped using them as much, but I've now just got them out and left it, leaving them on my desk so that I remember to grab them and use them. Because I used to use sequins on every single layout and for some reason lately I've, I've stopped. Um, so, um, and I love sequins so much and I have millions of them too, so <laughs> I, I really must start using them again. So they are going to be a f permanent feature on my desk for a while uh, to make sure that I remember to use them. Um, so I'm just adding a few of those in. Um, there wasn't one set that worked really well with this layout, so I just pulled um, out a few and then just pulled out the sequins from one set that worked. Um, so I've just dotted those around and I'll get those stuck in place with glossy accents. <clears throat> so I'm just going through the Paige Evans sticker book for Bloom Street. Um, it's got lots of little tiny stickers in and I just wanted to see what I could put onto this layout and use. Uh, because they're so small they're just extra little detail additions um, and uh, just a few that I pulled out that I could use. Um, a few little tiny flowers and bits like that. Um, so I also have a little label underneath my title that says Happy Thoughts um, and over to the right one that says Totally Excited. So they all go really well. And that's me done. That's probably the quickest layout I've ever done. <laughs> um, so okay, thank you so very much for joining me today. Um, do check out the April Box Box. Um, it has some amazing designs in uh, and that are available in the store as well. Um, that was Nikki Rowland for Bramble Fox.